actually have one very large mystery box that was liquidated by Amazon.com. The size of this box is 20 by 14 by 18. So from time to time I like to, you know, try a little bit different things. So instead of buying a pallet, this time from a local liquidator here, I just bought one very large mystery box. And price point on this box, the total MSRP on Amazon.com is $671. That's just, that's only if everything in this mystery box, Amazon custom return mystery box is brand new, but it's custom return. So there's going to be, there's going to be some used. There might be damage. There might be total salvage. Some stuff might be brand new still. You just never know. My cost, my liquidation cost, since you buy liquidations, you never pay, you know, anywhere close to full price for liquidated merchandise. My cost. 94 bucks so it's still not it's not bad I, I like to keep it around 10 percent so it'd be about you know 67 70 bucks at 10 percent but at 94 bucks that's like what 12 percent maybe or something like that 13 percent still not bad i mean the price point so low at 94 bucks even if this stuff's even worth half of the msrp you were talking like 300 and you know 35 dollars I'll still get like three times my money back. So I'm good with that. So I'm excited to see what's in here. This is supposed to be kind of like a general merchandise kind of mystery box, as I call it, hodgepodge. Uh, general merchandise could be anything from home goods, kitchen, electronics, toys, pet supplies, tools, sporting goods, apparel, you name it, it can be in here. That's why a hodgepodge, general merchandise, you know, hodgepodge it's kind of fun because it can just be a wide variety of all kinds of stuff and uh sometimes hodgepodge palettes can be the most profitable palettes out there because a lot of people like to just buy a certain niche like just electronics which i love buying electronics but you know just electronics or just tools or just toys but whenever it's like general merchandise kind of a palette or a mystery box a lot, a lot of people kind of shy away from that because they don't want to have to deal with possible used dog toys. But you know what? I don't care. Everything's sellable, no matter what. If it's not sellable, then a lot of times you can donate it, you know? And it becomes a tax write-off. So there's always some way to recoup what your cost was. So I have high hopes for this box. Hopefully it's a good one. Price point is low enough on it that hopefully this could be good. So, uh, ooh, I see a record in there. That's a nice item. So let's go ahead and let's just pull out the first thing. Oh, that thing's a mess. We have a let's start some. <laughs> let's do something better to start with. How's that sound? Something a little bit better. Um, let me just pull this out. Cool. I've got this thing like three or four times now. Uh, this is the white album. Which one is this? This is the, oh, this is the Escher Demos Beatles white album record set. There's actually a CD set and a record set. Let me see which one this actually is. It should be the record set. That's what it looks like. Yeah, I've got this thing, I think, this is the third or fourth time I've got this one, and... Oh yeah, this, this this is the record set. And I kept one, I've sold the rest of them. So yeah, this is ultra cool. Price point on this, back in 2019, I think it was like 100 bucks or so. But, yeah, good item to start with. Let me actually look this thing up, see what prices I've done with this since I've since I sold it last. Because now I'm kind of curious. Hopefully, it hasn't really dropped much value. Christmas is done. Once Christmas is over with, sometimes things, things can drop a little bit in value. It happens, you know? Uh, is this it? Yeah, this is it. The Beatles White Album 4 LP. Actually, it has dropped in value. It has dropped in value. Or at least the retail price. Right now, Amazon is selling for $71.99. 72 bucks new used this looks to be in pretty good pretty good condition used is going for 45 on amazon so yeah last time i sold this thing i think i got close to like 
used close to 100 bucks for it. That was several months ago though. That was probably around the fall of 2019, I bet. But still though, I'll probably try to get at least 50 bucks for this Beatles White Album Escher Demos. That's a nice item to start with. I could start with the other thing. It was just, I, 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 can't, I could start with that other thing. <laughs> Whatever it was. Um, let's see, whoops. Oh, we got a Precision Cow Pal. Yeah, I've got stuff like this before. This is just a Eat Smart Scale Cow Pal. Um, how much is in here? I'm seeing several big box items and smaller. Ooh, ooh, nice. Okay, I see some electronics on that side of the box. So, let me see how much this thing this cow pal sells for. I'm not 100 sure. This is. I'm not. I don't think this is like like a fantastic brand or anything. Cow pal, 35 bucks. That's not bad. The box is a little, a little bit banged up. A lot of these scales, you always have to try them out because sometimes these, yeah, it's used. 20 bucks in this, but sometimes these scales, um, the electronic scales, I, quite a few of these, we try them out, they don't work properly. Especially the Weight Watcher scales. The Weight Watcher branded scales, be careful if you're a reseller, sell those, try those things out. 100%. I mean, every function try out because the Weight Watcher scales are very faulty. Almost every single one I've had in the past has had some issue with it. either it's not able to record your uh, your weights to save it, you know, to see like progress, or it can't even zero itself out. But the Weight Watcher scales have lots of issues, so be very careful reselling Weight Watcher scales. If you find one at like a thrift shop. Uh, stay away from it. It probably doesn't work or there's something wrong with it. Trust me on this But yeah, I'll have to try this thing out as long as it works. Okay, you know like 20 bucks Now let's pull this contraption out We have a care left building harness. Oh it, it, It's a pet lifter. I Gotcha We got a pet lifter. It lifts up your pets. So yeah, so right now we've got electronics the scale's kind of electronics. I mean, more like, yeah. We'll call it electronics. But then this one is pure, like a, a pet item, a dog item. But actually, this thing could probably lift lift up, you know, a person up to 130 pounds. You could lift the person with this thing. This thing sells for 50 bucks new, really? Wow. I didn't expect, I thought it was like 20 bucks maybe. But it sells at 50 new. This box is kind of beat up on this. So I, I'd probably try to get like 20 bucks for that too. So I mean, it's not too bad right there. First few items are not too bad. Let me pull this thing out. This thing's been, it's been looking at me. We got a Logitech 920 Logitech. Ooh, that's nice. It's really light. That's concerning. Okay, it's not factory, it's not factory sealed. Logitech C920 HD Pro webcam. Empty box item, are you freaking serious? This is probably gonna be, this is probably the best thing in the entire box too. Empty box item. That stinks. Oh, let's see how much I lost on this one. On Amazon.com, it sells new for, oh, it's only 50, okay, that's not as much as what I thought it was, thank goodness. Only sells for 50 bucks new, so that's not that bad. Um, I thought it was like a $100 plus like webcam where I was about to, you know, get kind of upset, like extra upset, but actually the Beatles record, I think, it looks like, yeah. But this is probably like my second biggest. Actually, this sells for much as that dog lifting thing does. But yeah, so this stinks. This is sometimes custom returns. Whenever you buy pallets of custom return, you buy liquidated products, sometimes you can and will get empty box items. 
just like this. That stinks because Amazon, whenever it got liquidated, they should have been able to have just felt this box because that's what I was like, man, this feels really light. And uh, actually, I was talking to an employee that works at the Amazon, one of the FBA warehouses where they deal with liquidations, and they said that Amazon actually started a new program now where employees are actually supposed to check the inner box like one out of every like three items or something like that because for years now amazon has never checked the insides of packages whenever they get them back they just scan it as received refund the person's money and they keep it moving but from an insider at works at amazon they said that amazon because the customer return scam rate is so incredibly high you know like this that uh i think they said like one in every three packages that the employees who are in charge of the liquidation are supposed to actually check to make sure the item returned is actually was supposed to be returned not empty box stuff like this so that's actually a positive i don't know if that's 100 true that's just somebody who contacted me uh through email to let me know that amazon is changing the way they, that they liquidate because the customer return scam rate is so incredibly high that they have to help mitigate the amount of scams but empty box I missed the trash can. But yeah, that's trash. That stinks. Let's see. Oh. Well. There's broken glass in there. So we're just going to set that thing down. We're good leaving that thing alone. Ooh, okay, here we got a slage. I think I, I, think I said say, say that, that word right, slage. F-series, single dummy, oh, it's just a, a dummy handle. These don't sell for very much. So dummy handle. I'll be lucky to get 10 bucks tops out of that, but it's not bad, I mean, it's, it's still something. So right now this pallet hasn't really been that bad. I mean, there's been something broken, a dummy handle, cool record, a scale. So yeah, I usually don't buy like just like one box of stuff. I like getting, you know, a pallet with multiples stuffs on it, you know. But you know, that's it. That's all part of the risk. But here we actually have a PlayStation 4 game. Oh, cool. Black Ops. Black 4. Black Ops 4. Make sure there's no code showing. Yep, okay, there's no code. There's Black Ops 4, good to go. PlayStation 4, I think I already already own this game, or at least I did, I might have sold it. But if I do not own this game, I'll probably keep it this time, and then play it, and then, you know, probably sell it eventually. But yeah, it's not bad, Black Ops 4. This is post Christmas, let's see what this game price has done. Because post Christmas prices can plummet on things very quickly. This thing sells new for th wow. That okay? Oh, that's the Portuguese edition. Okay, totally different. Uh, forty forty four dollars new. Okay, so open as long as the thing works. If if I choose to sell it, like twenty five bucks. So next we've got. Extreme Steam, Conair, Dual Heat Technology. So that's fun. This is kind of like another electronic item in here. Oh, cool. That looks all still factory packaged in here too. So I don't want to undo that packaging. We'll keep it factory packaged because I'll be able to get more for it, you know, especially, you know, if the packaging is still like pristine on it. So that's not a bad item. That kind of makes up for uh, the empty box behind me that the webcam thing. So this sells, ah, it's only 30, it's only 30 bucks. So that's, it's a nice item. It's pretty much, look, appears to be brand new in box. I'll have to verify to make sure, but yeah, it's another good 20 bucks, I bet. We have a white snake CD. A single white snake CD. Come and get it. So lots of CDs, you know, two, three bucks a piece. You know, that's not bad. Cooler. 
Devonshire single function something or other. Oh, this is really wrapped up a lot. Some of these things you gotta be careful with. Oh, it's a shower head. It's just it's just a shower head. But I'll say who knows what it might be in that, but it's just it's just a shower head. So I mean shower heads can be much more like 20 bucks, I bet. So that's not bad though. It's a shower head. Oh okay. got another oh another white snake. Ready and willing white snake. I think I see another white snake. Saints and Sinners. Somebody was not a White Snake fan returned some White Snake CDs. Is that all the White Snake? Looks like it. So actually there's a total of like three a White Snake here. They've been taped shut by somebody so the CDs don't roll out. But White Snake, come and get it. White Snake, ready and willing. And then White Snake, Saints and Sinners. So yeah, I'll try to get like, you know, six bucks for this, eight bucks, something like that. Try to lot these things together. So, okay, here we got Amazon Basics. Surprises aren't broken. They're kind of banged up a little bit though, but we got five by seven Amazon Basics picture frames, four of them. Yeah, they're not broken, but they're very, very banged up and scratched up. Lots of blemishes on them. So something like this is something that I'd probably sell locally during, you know, in one of my selling platforms for like maybe like a buck a piece, maybe. So it's still sellable, except people, you know, might not want it all banged up and everything, but who knows? But here we go. Is this the last thing? Last item in the box. Oh, this is a Panasonic, this is a good item, NIWL600 cordless steam iron. What do we got over here? Oh, sorry, White Snake. That's a good way to end on a high note on this. So this actually might end up being the best thing and trump the uh, Beatles record. Okay, here it is on Amazon. Looks like this is, looks like white and gray or white and silver. On Amazon, it sells for $89.97. If it'll pull it up. Yeah, 90 bucks new on Amazon for this item. So that's actually, this is, this actually is going to be the most expensive item in, in this palette. That's a good item. Let's see what used price is. Used is 66 bucks. Let's check it out. See how this thing looks. See if it's gonna, how used it's gonna be. This is not a factory seal. If it was, I would not be cutting this thing open. But you can tell it's been like re-taped a few times because of all the layers and layers of tape. Oh. That's nice though. The it looks like he has a carrying case, but the carrying case is cracked, so it's actually it's not that big of a deal that the carrying case is cracked. Um, how's it come off? There we go. Oh, come on. So the carrying case has a crack on it, but yeah, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's just a case. Here's the iron though. It actually looks really nice. Oh, that bottom has no marks on it. No nothing. The base of it, it's not dirty. I don't think this thing's been used yet. That look like it looks like whoever bought this. Now how does this go back in there? So it looks like whoever bought this, they probably got it, and either it came cracked which is a pro good possibility because this thing was like right on top of the box. So it's a good chance that during shipping or even warehouse storage, something heavy on top of it hit this thing and cracked it. I mean, if I spent 90, what I say, 90 bucks on this and it came cracked, I'd send it back too. I wouldn't be too happy about that. So there's a good chance this is just going to be a lightly, you know, damaged item, but it's just going to be like the actual case. 
and nothing that really like hurts the the ability of the item to actually function as it should. We got instructions, then some packaging stuff. But yeah, it's a nice item. You know, with I mean, if it sells used, what does it say? Like 66 used. Since like the the case on top is like cracked, you know, I'd probably you know knock off like another like 15 bucks. I'll probably try to charge like 50 bucks for this thing. You know, if it didn't sell for 50, I'll oh that that's exactly what happened. This touches the very top of the box. Right where it touches is where it's cracked. So yeah, something heavy landed on this item and, and cracked the case. That's why it got sent back, I guarantee it. I mean, obviously. So it's probably 100% brand new. It's just the outer shell, which doesn't affect it whatsoever, has a crack on it. So good item. So yeah, that should sell for pretty easily, probably about 50 bucks, I bet. So that's it. That is the one huge mystery box of Amazon customer returns. And I got it for, was it 94 bucks? Yeah, total value was $671. I don't think I did that bad. I mean, if I'm selling this for 50 and 30 and 20, 20, 20, oh yeah. I'll probably easily, like I said earlier, hopefully I get like triple my money back. I think I should be able to, or at least come close to it, I bet. So that's awesome. And a lot of this stuff's gonna be some pretty fast movers. I mean, something like this should sell really quick. And then the steam iron should sell very, very quickly. The Beatles record will sell like that. It'll sell the same day. So yeah, a lot of this is gonna be fast moving items. So that's fantastic. And another successful Amazon customer return liquidation, very large mystery box. So yeah. So I'll be doing some more of these. Uh, I'm the liquidator, a few of them that I buy from locally or branching off and doing different kinds of liquidations now, not just pallets, but like mystery boxes and like large boxes. So once they get some more in, I'll try to get some of those and see what happens. And I'm actually, there's another liquidator now that I've been talking with that uh, actually is not local to me. I'll have to pay for shipping. I might've start purchasing from liquidators outside of my state just to kind of show what shipping costs are. If you had to pay shipping, like I don't pay shipping costs. I buy it locally only. But I might randomly, maybe like once a month, buy from a liquidator somewhere else within the US and pay shipping costs to let you know after you pay shipping, what is the actual profit that you can make? You know, that'd be kind of fun to find out. It'll cost me money, but it'll be fun. Why not? It'll make a good video. So I'll see you next time and I'm out.